today let's install add ubuntu so basically this ubuntu distribution is for educational purposes okay so let's download it first so you can go to ubuntu.com desktop so um, for your convenience i am sharing this so ubuntu.com slash desktop slash favor so see this is the address you can go so here it has listed on all the flavors of ubuntu okay so we will trying add ubuntu first so get ubuntu download download 23.10 okay downloads and it's downloading okay. so this is downloading it is it will take some time so we'll we'll check in uh, we'll, we'll come back in some time So Ubuntu has been downloaded now. It's, it's, it has taken some time to download. So let's create the virtual machine out of it. So you can go to any virtual machine software you like. So I'm using basic version of VMware. So I'll choose the Ubuntu. Okay. I've downloaded it. Okay. Next. So basically these are the user details you have to enter and if you want to install it on a system you have to create a bootable disk out of it and in, you can follow the same thing okay cd ubuntu i create all my virtual machine as specific directory here okay I'll create it here. I'll assign 30 GB memory, 30 GB of disk. Suppose I'm assigning 40 GB. Okay, you can assign how many uh, like uh, GBs you like. Okay, so basically, if you are if you, if this is your main operating system, you would like to uh, go more on the disk side. Uh, like you can assign 100 GB, 200 GB, whatever. But since I'm creating into virtual machine and I will be removing it, I'm just installing it for the purpose of demo. So I'm installing it. So I assigned only 40 GB. Okay. I can customize the hardware. Hardware. I'll assign suppose 6 GB. 6 GB. How we can calculate? Cal. Cal. One zero two. Four into six six one four four six one four four. This is six GB. I am assigning it two two core is fine. Everything else is fine. Okay. And close it. Finish. So my uh, virtual machine has created and started the booting up. Okay, so I'll guide you through the process of installation. So installation process will be same if you are installing it in a virtual machine or a, or a physical machine. So in physical machine, what you do, you create a bootable disk out of it and boot with it, with, boot with that disk. In the same way, I've created a virtual machine, I'm booting uh, into the virtual machine. Okay. So it will take some time. So once the option comes, I'll come back here. So the installation has started now. It took some time. So basically the, it comes like this. Okay. You can click over here. Okay. So for here you can choose uh, the language you want. So I can, I'm choosing English. You can, you can. So whichever language you prefer or speak, you can choose that. Continue. Uh, third party I will not download. Um, it's fine. If you want, you can tick that also. Update and installing. I am not going to update now. I can update it later. Okay. Continue. <coughs>
But since it's uh, running into virtual machine, it will take some extra time as compared to the physical machines. Okay. So please bear with me. Uh, I don't have uh, like separate machine to install everything. So basically, I do it in virtual machine. So if you can th think of like if it is taking 10 minutes in virtual machine, it will take five minutes, almost less than less than five minutes in a physical machine if configuration is good. Okay, so let's wait for it to respond. So now it's asking me to configure disk. So uh, if you can use advanced feature also. So, okay. These things you use LVM, these things. So it will, will, it will be considered a logical volume. So you can read about more about on this. So uh, it's like it's out of scope of this video to cover this. And here it will, so if you choose this one, it is just can install one too. So it will uh, use whole disk. So if you are you doing it in a more like uh, a physical machine, you can choose something else. So here your disk will come and disk and partitions will come. So if if you have an extra partition, you can use that. If you don't have extra partition, you can use a whole disk. So be careful while configuring disk for installation because if you choose whole disk, it will destroy everything and install it. So since I am installing into a virtual machine, I don't have to worry about that. But if you have a physical machine and your disk your machine disk contains partitions, you can choose uh, accordingly the specific partitions where you want to install it. Okay, so I'll create a new partition table, continue. Okay, free space is created. Okay. Okay, so I'll use everything on this everything okay so revert back so i'll use this one continue so it has created partition so everything i'm assigning all the this all this space to a single partition choosing exe4 general link mount point i'm choosing root so root will be yeah mm -hmm. so what you can do in advance i'll also create a video where you i'll tell you how to configure manually partitions and all. So here you can just take one partition. If it is physical machine, select one partition. If it is virtual, you can use whole disk, okay? So basically whatever disk we have selected in the beginning, that disk will be used to create, okay? So see, it has already created it. According to this, next. Now I'll show install now. Continue, continue. Continue. Okay, so now it has started installing it. You can see the things going on um, behind. So here I'm choosing my country, which is India. Continue. <coughs> here um, I will give my username and password. Sometimes it takes from the starting only, but sometimes it does not take. So I'm installing it. ED and two server server okay. So here, if you choose this one, login automatically. It will not ask for password and login automatically. Here I have chosen required my password to log in. So it will ask me to enter its username and password. And if you have Active Directory, if you have it in, suppose you are uh, storing in production or something and you have Active Directory, you can connect your Active Directory with it. So your username will be fetched from the Active Directory. So keep it simple. Um, giving the username and password like this and um, enabling it to ask me the password. 
and continue. Okay. Okay. So it is basically started installing now. It's copying the files. If you can see, copying files. Okay. So you can see uh, something about this. Welcome to new era of Ubuntu. Thank you for installing Ubuntu 23.10. So this is basically the latest version of Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu is a project, is a community project that aims to provide a whole school technology platform suitable for delivering education. So basically it's based uh, or used for educational purpose. So um, for school system and, and any students or uh, be it uh, college people. So basically the things or software related to education will be available here by default. Okay. Okay, so it basically ins comes with Edu1 to installer. The way to customize Edu1 to installer is to make it appropriate for any age group. So this uh, distribution can be made appropriate for any uh, the, the, like age group, suppose for primary, secondary, senior secondary, or whatever age group uh, you you want it to it for, you can create in the same way, and uh, uh, th those kind of softwares you can uh, it will be installed and. All that. Okay. So I do want to ships with Gbrainy, a platform train memory. Mathematical and logical capability. If you can see this, logical logic puzzles are available, mental calculations are available, memory trainers is there, play and learn. So you can play a game and learn. So basically, this can be uh, used by kids who are age of 13 to 18. So they can play game and learn things. So improve language and skill with letter uh, and gram and hangman games. Okay, so different games are available which will uh, also help you uh, students to learn more things. Basic skill development, so you want to add one to ships with popular tux for kids suit. Defend your cities in tux of math command, accurate game that have improve automatic skills. Learn basic computer skills and unleash your creativity in tux paint. Okay, so learn where all uh, buttons on your keyboard are using tux type. So a lot of things are there in this. So we will explore after it, the installation gets finish finishes. Okay, so we can take notes also. In Genome notes is available for taking notes, take notes during lecture and meeting. Okay, so basically this can be a good um, distro which you can have on laptop and uh, which can be used for educational purpose uh, containing software mostly related to education and uh, different kind of uh, use cases so you can have either you can have two 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 uh, distros uh, one partition you can have windows one partition you can have edu one two and use it for educational purpose okay in fact edu one two is completely free uh, window is not free so you can choose accordingly okay a lot of things are there from fonts glow education add one to ships with many of the fonts that are available in the one to remove a lot of fonts are available menu administration add one to menu administration allow administrator to hide application from non-administrator so basically now the menu administrator is there suppose if you are building a machine for a student and you don't want something to be visible to them you can enable or disable those okay so a lot of things are there computer added drawing is there libris cad is there which can be used to draw 2d computer added design create technical drawings such as building plan in a lot of things are there manage your ebook library so you have calibrate is an e-library e e solution for cataloging electronic book so you have Calibre where you can catalog your all your ebooks which are in digital format. It supports lots of format Mobi, LIT, PRC, EPUB, OT, OT, ODT, HTML, CBR, RTF, PDF, and 
many more formats so basically it index the different books and you can uh, read up accordingly okay so it's installing now so you have good calculator here powerful genome calculator with a lot of options scientific calculations and all other options are there so great desktop software libre office is available where you can create documents seeds and powerful presentation firefox is there it's a very free open or free good secure website like browser okay things case is there which which can be used for vector drawing zimp is there for descriptive like it can it can be used for editing image creating image and all okay so activate activate accessibility okay so it can be so you know suppose there are some special special uh, enabled people are there for them accessibility accessibility is there like uh, on on screen reader and on uh, other things and you have in in more software you want to software center is there you can go and install download all the software that is needed for your requirement okay get involved like if you want to add something yeah if you want to help doc application overview help menu small application additional there is a link ask one to ask one to there on that website you can visit and <coughs> read about it you can contribute okay so these are the basic things that uh, i do want to provide if you can see so let it install complete we'll come back it it may take some time i don't want you to keep it busy so we'll come back so it's still installing basically in in virtual machine it takes time and then i also uh, my machine is pretty old uh, it is third generation intel intel processor so that's why it takes time i i i currently i don't have a latest uh, laptop or something to install this so basically it takes time so it will not take time on your machine if it is newer than mine or if it is a physical machine it will complete soon you will want to maximum 5 to 10 minutes it's uh, like installation is completed so two factors are there one is like i'm not installing on physical machine and also my machine is pretty old so you can bear with me once this installation is done i'll try to explore the softwares which i have level in edit and one two okay thank you the installation done now so it's uh, taking some time to um, it took some time to boot up uh, okay so let's explore it so after restart we can understand let's see some how much memory and disk it's been using i'm not updating it currently so this is the basic uh, uh, like uh, dialog box comes uh, whenever we install ubuntu so i'm skipping it for now okay skipping it for now next no don't send i'm just doing it uh, default things so if you want you can so it's a bit slow somehow in fact maybe it's in a vm player so it's happening so you can install these softwares if you want from software center i'm putting doing it done now so let's see how much this terminal i open terminal So we will see eh, how by default how much disk. So we have just installed it. So let's see how much memory it is using. See hyphen h. So out of we had assigned it. Uh, <coughs> some error occurred. Okay, maybe something. Okay, so I will send it. Okay. So total six GB was the memory we have assigned to it. Using one point four GB. 
1.4 GB, 3.2 is free. So whenever it start and in the, in the beginning, this much memory is used and free. Free and DF51H. So it will show us the partitions or root directory. You can see root directory. We had assigned 40 GB, 15 GB it has taken for all the software and installations, and 23 GB is free. So 39% is basically free. My notes will check DF hyphen i so this is the number of i nodes which are available this many i nodes are used and this many are free so we will see how much processor it's using so basically <coughs> you can see uh, I'll, I'll see i'll tell you the processor count uh, process count but here load average is uh, you can see 1.9 and this much is the load average by default okay the percent of 4.3 percent of cpu seconds it's using okay and memory you can see we have seen it okay so the how much how many processes by default it's using ps hyphen aux wc hyphen l so in the beginning 286 processes it's, it's running Okay, so let's see what is given uh, <coughs> here now. So this uh, by default on this uh, bar, we have Chrome Mail. It's using this basically Gary for email. This is calendar files and folders. We'll see that. Okay, so this is the starting file. Okay. All that other location so this is basically root directory if you can see okay so these are the file systems okay so these are the different this calculator it has given notes you can take dictionary <coughs> so basically it's starting i mean i'm just trying this Trying this dictionary. Okay, so basically it is searching online and showing me. This is good to like if you are student and you need a dictionary. This is good option. This is a writer. This is app center from where you can install uh, different softwares if you want an, a new software to be installed. Okay, I'll just show you the how how the interface uh, looks like. So it's taking some time. Wait. So these are the softwares. If you can see, you can install productivity feature, productivity development, games, all the softwares categories you can explore and install. And also you can, if you have, if you want some software to install like VLC player or something, VLC player, you can search here. Okay, so video land player, you can install any software that you want to install, you can search it from here. Then we have CD ROM, floppy disk, no use of it. And let's see what, what applications are available here. Okay, so driver, additional drivers if you want to install for graphics things, drawing, GIMP. So drawing in space, in space, in space for vector drawing, the Libre CAD for AutoCAD and all paint. So these are the art related uh, software that are available. Clock is there, contact is there, convert all is there. So this should be, I think, uh, it will be different form of conversion from unit to unit. Okay, so American, American wide goals area. I will Celsius CEL Celsius Celsius to Fahrenheit. Suppose I have to pronounce Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit if I want to convert. So 1 Celsius equals to uh, 38 Fahrenheit. Suppose 98, 97.5 Celsius to 200. Yeah? So ninety five point ninety seven point five 
36.0 Celsius. Okay, so like this, you can use this tool. Let's see some other softwares. This is education related thing. Ask who want to reset application, want to menu and all. This is admin related things. And the were is sizing task related thing, pixels and manager extensions, games by default. Three games are there. Then G Brain is there. So different softwares are there by default. I can I can see uh, some educational purpose. So this is i think for formula writing or something <coughs> okay. okay so x plus y plus two six something i'm not sure about the software so yeah you can always you can always uh, see help from here okay so these these are the basic software so that i involved so these are the basic software that are available with uh head one two so you can play with it if you want more softwares you can install it as according to your requirement so this was all about the head one two educational uh, flavor of ubuntu thank you for watching Please like, subscribe, share and support us. Thank you.